It'll be one to go this time, bud. All right, let's get ready here, guys. Get ready. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Face cars off. Be ready. Green, black, green, ready. Go, 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 go. go, 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 go. Well, it's going to be a challenge, and that's probably um, the toughest weekend of the year on the Nationwide Series. You know, going back to Pocono for a second time, we should have some good notes to go off of. We we saw what, what we didn't do well uh, up there in the spring race, and we can make some adjustments for the fall race. And um, I, I feel bad uh, for... Uh, um, you know, for the guys on the nationwide team going up Saturday afternoon, uh, you know, having to start in the back, not making a lap on, on the uh, on the course this weekend before the drop of the green flag. But you know, the bottom line is we're going to go out and, and, and drive hard all day and have a lot of fun, and we can outsmart those guys and still get a top ten finish, and, and that's what we're going to do next weekend. I think it's going to be a uh... A lot of fun. I mean, I like going to Montreal. It's always where, for me, it seems like I get a new contract or something happens there. And always, all the years I've been there, that's where uh, things change for me. So hopefully, uh, we do the same this year. And the fans been great. I mean, you, you should have seen that loud, and there were so many of them. And and we, uh, you can see that NASCAR is growing in uh, in Canada. They're already pretty much sold out. So it should be a fun race with all the names, all the guys that are going to be there. We're going to have some fun. Oh yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, the first uh, first laps on the track are going to be drop of the green flag. Looking forward to that. Um, I guess that they could probably just help me out and rain and put me on the pole of the thing. That'd be even better. No pressure, nothing. Look out! I'll have to tell them to stand up and drivers me. If it rains out qualifying, I will be in trouble. But uh, uh, just looking forward to it. I mean, it's it's a opportunity and and uh, you got to look at it that it's it's going to be interesting that's for sure you may want to tune in yeah i mean we we saved the same car a car was brand new for the first pocono race and it's been just waiting to go back it has uh, you know to be its second race on it and it, as fast as it was there in qualifying and in race i think it should be strong it should be a you know a car that can run the top 10 you know, and if we make the right adjustments, well, I don't see why we can't, uh, you know, have another shot at, at maybe another win. I mean, that seems like as good as it was that first race. I think if we do the right things, we'll have a shot. I hope so. You know, definitely looking forward to it. You know, we had a really good car there last time, especially at the end of the race. And unfortunately, didn't get to capitalize on, on what I felt the car we had. Uh, the cars, uh, the nine car had much better tires than the race, and, and he had a good car as well. Um, and we just we didn't have anything for him. It's uh, for me. I really enjoy that racetrack. It's a very challenging racetrack. It's a lot of fun to be able to hustle the cars around there. But um, it. Uh, it's unique because of the three corners and, and you know for that reason it is a challenge and from a driver's standpoint um, when you have those things figured out it can be a lot of fun when if not it can be quite a struggle it's usually a pretty long drug out race because of the long straightaways but when you're handling down the straightaways it's a lot of fun We, I thought we ran real well at Pocono. We, the first part of the race, we struggled a little bit, but we kind of got it the second half of the race. We were really good in practice. Uh, I'm real optimistic going to Pocono. I think we, uh, we learned a lot at the test. Um, I feel, I feel really, I'm really encouraged about Pocono. I think we've got a good chance to do some good stuff there. Yeah. You know, Pocono, uh is a very, very challenging racetrack for, for this car. It's really rough. We don't have a lot of travel to be able to, to handle big bumps like that. Um, it's fast, it's flat. So, you know, it, uh, I mean, it's definitely a track that, that you need good track position. We didn't qualify good there, so I'm hoping uh, we can go back and, and qualify a lot better.